All right. So there's another component here that I was uh, forgetting, which is I'm going to put my cat in here too. So if you guys didn't meet her last time, that's Pokey. Uh, I'm going to bring Pokey into the house here. I'm going to eliminate the uh, restaurant or the tea room table. I'm going to bring in my lovely Easter table and keep that up there instead. I much prefer that one. It looks really cool. It looks very homey, especially with the, the kind of um, rounded tablecloth on there. I like the appearance. Um, and I'm going to bring the cat stuff in here. So uh, I'm still without a cat tower. I will purchase a cat tower as soon as my furniture allows me. Um, but I'm going to have my cat bowl. Ooh. Interesting. I think they're at the guild house, come to think of it. Let's go grab them. Cat relocation time. Slowly marching up here. There's too much stuff on the screen to load. Okay, so I'm going to grab my cat and I'm going to grab the cat's bowl. I think the cat bowl is going to get emptied when I pick it up, which is kind of frustrating, but we do what we do. So I'm going to grab the leash here. Boop. Now she's on the leash and grab the cat food bowl. to my house. Oh, not purchase. You may have seen the uh, character slots pack pop up on the screen. If you've never purchased the character slots pack, I highly recommend it. More so than the guild house or anything else there. I think the, the slots is super important. Okay, so I'll be looking for a bowl. There it is, pet food bowl. The magical color changing pet food bowl. And it's empty. Cat, you just eat too much. Entirely too much. <sighs> okay. Anyways, there's the cat. Done the rounds on the mail today. And next part is going to be cordoning off some of these areas. I'm going to start using some fences. Um, I'm tempted to use these acorn fences. You know what? Let's use the acorn fences till they run out, and then we'll see where we are at. Um, and then the other thing I need to get out of here is some strange bricks. So these are my favorite item, probably. Versatile, uh, really flexible. You can really do all kinds of stuff with this. And I'll just start throwing some in here. I keep a couple of them down here because I'm going to have um, some height in this area. I'm going to throw the cat condo in this corner. And maybe a bed. I might buy the cat bed too. Just splurging. And then here's uh, the acorn fence. I don't usually use the acorn fence as the actual wall or the, the fence itself. Um, generally, I use the acorn fence as something that's underneath, but with the color scheme, the floor, uh, these walls with the cool bricks and stuff, um, I'm definitely going for these guys if I can, if I have enough. Um, I would like to keep them all uh, properly laid out in here. And I mean, maybe there'll be some kind of an issue at some point where I have less, but... Um, Let's see. 20, 20 should be good. I think I think I should be okay with 20 of the acorn fences. Okay, so these are just going to go in here. Um, a little rough at the start. I can always come and, um, you know, adjust them as I go. I'm going to use my tricky railroad stairs up here. Actually, something I should do. Um, at this point, before I go much further, is define my edge uh, here as well. So I want it to come over uh, on this this bar here. I'll probably I might even cover this up. I might put the the bed closer to the wall or something and cover this as well. Um, 
It just depends. Oop, got somebody coming in the house there. <gasps> Hide quick. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to here, um, and then I'm gonna bring it around. Bring a second one in. And I will throw the railroad uh, ties in there. I'll quickly face my character the right direction. Uh, I'm just gonna search for railroad. Ray should be enough. Oh, railroad, there it is right there. Perfect. Okay, so that one's gonna go there, um, and then I'm gonna bring this around, rotate it once, and this is kind of gonna be like a mezzanine in here. <laughs> Camarera. <laughs> cool. So, yeah, that's Miz. <laughs> and I... Can I get away with it? What do you think? Can I get away with... Throwing these all the way across, I think that's going to be awesome if I can. Um, looks like it might work out. Oh, I lost my uh, fence there. There we go. That's a little bit lower. Oh, and it's going symmetrical. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, if you know what that is, put it in the comments. I'd love to know what he's hating. <laughs> Cool, okay, so maybe um, what we're looking at here is actually the, the result of going against the plan. So that bed and all that stuff on that side being asymmetrical actually worked really well. Um, I'm going to pop this back up. And keep my little my little room up here exactly as it was going to be initially. And one more. Wow, look, that really worked out just so perfectly. I wonder how many, how many acorn fences I have left. I started off with twenty. Uh, so Miz is one of the folks who would come and watch uh, while I would build before there was ever a YouTube thing. Um, it's kind of one of the reasons I th had the thought to do this in the first place, mm. is that people would be interested in, they'd be like, hey, can I watch you build? <laughs> like, uh, okay, is that creepy? <laughs> I don't know, is that okay, guys? Uh, So it's looking pretty good. Um, my cat thinks so too. I'm looking at these um, bookshelves here. I might want to bring them onto the other side and put the wooden bookshelves in here. 
because I'm going to throw some bricks under here. The bricks are going to basically cover these up. They're going to be layer two, these guys here, um, all the way along the front line. And then the ones here as well are going to also have to be layer two. So I'm going to cover up the bottoms. Um, oh, I hate making this layer two, but I have to. I have to. <laughs> Okay, these guys all go across here are going to be layer two as well. I mean, technically, I could throw something in underneath this and make it not layer two. Um, I think I might be able to get away with just one of these guys as layer two. I have a tendency to want to just keep it as low level as possible. Um, it makes the building easier. It makes adjusting things easier if it's all like the same layer or very close. Okay. Let's keep this a little closer here. Open up the space in the front room or in the middle room here. I will bring this turtle table down into the middle. We're going to make this a little bit uneven on purpose. Um, so we can kind of get the the room to have a little bit more depth. I'm going to take these shells. Uh, I believe there's only one on the floor right now, but oh, no, oh, there's two. I'm going to throw them at an angle. So these are going to have, oh, three. Got one more. Yeah, all four were sitting there. So these guys are going to have a little bit of character to them. Um, I'm not just going to make them straight across or like up and down. Uh, make them on an angle. So if you sit at these, basically you'll be able to talk a little bit more effectively um, in this manner than if it was straight up and down. Oh, that one came with me. I'll step out of the way and it'll let me place it properly. So what will happen is um, if you have a table and it's got, you know, like one chair here, one chair here, one chair here, one chair here, um, people will sit on one one side and the other side and then the text will overlap. Um, but with a layout like this, every seat, like whomever is sitting here, um, every seat will have uh, proper text that you can see. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Bring that guy down. Should be okay. Uh, no, I'll bring him up half an increment. looks good <sighs> except this layer two and there is a solution and uh, you know what you know what let's just do it let's do it I'm gonna do it so I'm gonna bomb the traditional railroad staircase and I'm going to throw in my library ladder Let add. <laughs> I confused it too much. <laughs> so I'm going to throw in a library ladder. Uh, it is not going to work in this location. If I try and make it work there, it's going to be too tall. However, if I bring it down here, it'll be perfect. Okay, so I'm going to bring it up to there, pop this out. Mm, bring these guys one over. Yeah, that, no, no, wrong side. This is going into my bedroom. I don't want that. I'll put that back. I'm going to keep it on the other side. Maybe these uh, finely crafted bat bookshelves can go over there. Or maybe we can have two bat bookshelf sections in the house. Or maybe none at all. I think that's the best idea. We'll take them all outside. We'll throw all the books on the yard. Keep it 
Wild of the West. <laughs> I don't need no stinking books around here. Okay, so this one's going to go up here. One over, because I'm cheating now. And bring this one over. And that's looking pretty handy there. I want to block this on one side uh, with this guy. <laughs> Maybe with these. One there, one on the other side. Spiffy. And then we're going to have bricks that are coming in this layer here. Um, and these will poke out the front and it'll look awesome. Great. Uh, this guy, maybe on this side. Mm, it's good coverage for the wall. Maybe. Maybe I'll have to think about that one. Got these handy dandy bricks. Uh, I will be using them in this build, I promise. But right now I'm still trying to figure out where everything's going to sit. I would really like to have an alcove that wasn't just open um, on this side for the pet. And up here, I'm definitely... Actually, you know what? Let's start using the bricks. I'm going to bring the bricks into this. And the way I'm going to do it is with a centerpiece here. Uh, that is layer two, and these guys are not... Okay, so these guys also have to be layer two, bummer. They're all layer two now. Okay, so see how these have this uh, this one space here? Uh, keep that there. Okay, maybe in the middle. Oh. It's gonna have one space no matter which direction I go. So I'm going to delete that one. And we're going to go for these. So these bricks are going to show up in such a way where uh, the layer of shadow is going to give this second level a, a heightened appearance. <laughs> heightened. So when I bring it up to here, now it looks like that's that's up in the air, basically. And this is one of my favorite ways to use these. I like to see the shadows coming in. Um, one of the things you can do with some of the other furniture, of course, is to hide the bricks completely. Here I'm using it structurally, so it looks like um, you know these bricks are actually part of this building. Pop one up here. Looks good. Oh, and you know it might just fit there. Is that terrible bookshelf over there? I mean, I love these so much, I'd love to use them more often. And it does, look at that, it fits right in that slot. <sighs> now the problem with that is, the top of that bookshelf does not align um, for the hallway at the top of the screen. Like if I'm trying to go up here, <laughs> this has been pretty messy so far. If I hop up here and I'm gonna walk through here, I can't actually pass through this section. Um, oh, apparently I, oh, no. If I bring it one down, it's not gonna look as good. If I bring this guy up, it's not gonna look as good. If I put it up to there, and then I, if I throw chairs on here, it's gonna look really ugly. I can technically still get through here, but it's super tight. Um, so, looks like I'm gonna have to ditch my table up there. That's a hard choice. It was not an easy choice, but that is what I'm doing. I know it doesn't seem like it was a hard choice, but that was a really hard choice to make. 
Sometimes it just comes to you. Okay, so then I'm going to bring these guys down excruciatingly one at a time. D -d 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 and we're going to have our little turtle sitting area. I'd love to have some little uh, turtle teamed tequila glasses or something like little shot glasses that you could put on the table. Make them like out of turtle shell. And that one's going to come down just one one fragment. There we go. Okay, looking good. Can I get through here? Yes, I can. Can sit on my little turtle table. Be happy. Okay. So I think what I will do is I will take my remaining um, handful of acorn fences. I do have a few. Um, because we've used this bookshelf here, we can get away with doing the same thing down here. I can scamper about and steal a couple more fences, maybe. Mm, I mean, definitely, obviously, I can steal more fences, but how many? Yeah, we're going to get two. Awesome. Um, in fact, you know what? I could also do this, which is a little sneaky. And make it look like it connects over here. Uh, uh, not required. I don't think I need that there. I think I can go over here. I can take my uh, bricks and I can attach them properly. That's going to look swanky. Uh, nope. That one didn't want to go. Oh, and we're going to run into trouble actually. Because if I put these two here, we have one more on the end. Okay. Hmm. That's not good. Okay. So um, all that means is that I'm going to have to place something in this space here to cover that that hole later on. That's okay. Not so bad. Oops. That was too far down. Yep, those guys are too far down. Has to go one higher. Oh, and it's in the wrong spot now. Oh, good grief. Okay. No, nope. you're going down one more. Great, okay, and the last one. And in the next video here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get um, a section down below with like a little staircase going down for the cat. So we can go into the cat area and have something, maybe like a little plant or something in this section here. Cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.